Here's your Storm Track 7 forecast. Good afternoon, I'm Storm Track 7 meteorologist Joshua Franson, and like yesterday, we do have those elevated fire conditions today. Let's diagnose why. Well, we got that dry vegetation still outside, and we're going to have warmer temps again with lower humidity today. And of course, we once again have those stronger wind gusts up to 30 miles an hour out of the south. Hence why we have these burn bands in place across our area. And I want to stress that just because your county might not be in one does not mean the conditions aren't suitable for those fires to spread across the area. But let's continue to move in throughout the day. And well, we're going to pretty much remain sunny outside and not going to really see much change, especially overnight. Once again, remaining clear. We don't see clouds move in until about Saturday, Saturday afternoon. And that will leave us pretty much mostly sunny throughout Saturday. And then heading into the evening, well, it remains the same way. So not really much going on in terms of clouds. However, those winds, as stated earlier, they are kicking today. They're going to be kicking out of the south. Potential gusts up to 30 miles an hour. They'll be a little bit stronger tonight, but not nearly as strong as yesterday night. We'll potentially have some gusts up to 20 miles an hour tonight out of the southwest. Might make it feel a little bit cooler as the sun goes down. It feels colder outside. So combined with that wind, might make it feel like uh, one or two degrees colder than the actual temperatures. But heading into tomorrow in regards to those wind gusts, they'll still be a little bit strong, but not nearly as strong as today. We keep kind of dropping down in these winds, potential gusts up to 20 miles an hour tomorrow. But throughout the week, they'll still be kind of kicking out of the southwest, and that allows it to funnel up some warmer air. And while we jump from 74 to 78, and we'll peak at 82 on Sunday, and then Monday, directly out of the south, still at 15, drop maybe a degree or so, but generally similar to Monday or Sunday. And then into Tuesday, we see a front eventually move through, and that's going to shift them out of the east. And then we drop down a few degrees. And then Wednesday is when we really start to feel that cold front because winds shift out of the northwest, drop us down to 62. And then, well, because we're in fall, it's almost like a temperature roller coaster. We go up and down. Or you can think about it like the stock market. And then eventually, well, we'll start going back up again and by the end of next week. But overall for today, temperatures will be in the upper 60s, lower 70s. will be sunny. Remember to note that high fire danger today. Make sure you're not out doing any out outdoor burning or being careful if you're throwing away anything that could light on fire, but otherwise windy outside as well with those gusts up to 30 miles an hour and quite sunny outside as well. Tonight, while well, sky's not really going to change, we'll be mostly clear and temperatures will drop into the low to mid 40s and we'll have those south winds at about 5 to 15. Might make it feel like a little bit colder than it actually is, potentially dropping those temperatures to make it feel like in the upper 30s or so. Only a couple of degrees, but City by City forecast showing us that Saturday, well, we're going to be mostly sunny outside, very nice and pleasant. Temperatures in the upper 70s, and then on Sunday, a little bit warmer, sitting in the lower 80s, but still mostly sunny, a very beautiful weekend. And then on the 10-day forecast, well, we see those winds begin to change direction here on Tuesday, potentially giving us a small chance at rain. And then, well, after that, we pretty much go back to the dry weather. We stay mostly sunny and then Friday partly cloudy and well temperatures start to ramp themselves back up in the next weekend but otherwise still a very pleasant week ahead of us after this weekend. 